Hi, this is Cheryl Peterson from the Community of Christ Scientist. This is number 12 in the series, The Foundation of Rock. This series engages Christ Jesus' declaration that whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. From the Bible, the Gospel of Matthew, Now, when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Now these words get the mind rolling in the direction of a rock-like principle that distinguishes between human beings and the Christ idea, being Christ-like. Human beings come and go. Christ lives forever and we can identify with Christ. From 21st Century Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures, a modern version of Mary Baker Eddy's Science and Health. The word Christ is not properly a synonym for God, for Jesus, though it is frequently used as such. Jesus was a human name which belonged to him in common with other Hebrew boys and men, for it is identical with the name Joshua, the renowned Hebrew leader. Christ is not a name so much as the divine title of Jesus. Christ expresses God's immeasurable, eternal nature. The name is synonymous with Messiah and alludes to the spirituality which is taught, illustrated, and demonstrated in the life of which Christ Jesus embodied. The proper name of the teacher in the Greek was Jesus the Christ, but Christ Jesus better signifies the godlike. How is this helpful to everyday life? It delivers us from the bad habit of mixing flesh and spirit. It delivers us from the depressing habit of confusing the human and the divine. To mindfully recall and place the divine above the human is to exercise our mental muscles and keep them healthy and strong. Don't let a ginormous debt break you. Christ reveals our potential to change our habits, roll up our sleeves, and get to work to pay off the bills. Sure, we're up against human ego, and it will mock Christ, but inspirations, revelations from the rock of truth, are here now available for the taking up and moving forward in life with humility, creativity, and an aura of being responsible.